Last month, my channel. Today we're gonna play a game I found on HLIO, which is a game room called Snagmon. A grunt dating sim. Oh yeah, who, have you ever felt like you wanted to date one of the people from Team Rocket? Now you can. In this demo. Your name is Curling you Lion. Would you change your name? It requires text input. Digital Wave. Your name is Digital Wave, is it? Correct? Yes. Hello! Welcome to the world of Snagamon. My name is Professor Magenta. But everyone calls me the Snagamon Professor. This is like Pokemon, huh? Our world is inhabited by wonderful creatures called Snagamon. Snagamon come in all shapes and sizes, and many possess strange and incredible powers. <laughs> in fact, here is your first Snagamon, Kinneret, the sprightly Snagamon. I'm sure you'll get along great on your Snagamon journey. Wait, I didn't get to choose my Snagamon. But first things first, are you a girl or a... Oh, how silly of me. It's only you. <laughs> Everyone knows who you are. <laughs> Hard to believe it's been 15 years since this happened, isn't it? I'm so pleased that you decided to sit out on your Snagamon journey with Kinneret all those years ago. The Snagamon world is full of wonders and adventures, and you've been able to experience them all together. You've seen wonderful things, met new people, took on the Snagamon League Challenge, and became the Snagamon Champion. I did. You've even saved the world from the likes of Team Gold, the notorious criminal organization, and other criminal syndicates just like them. I did. Team Gold, Team Galaxia, Team Glamour, all offshoots of the most diabolical criminal organization of them all, Team Providence. Providence. <laughs> Thanks to you and Kinneret, the honcho of Team Gold, Darius, and all the other honchos have been put away for good. <laughs> and now you've done everything any Snagamon trainer could ever dream of. You get to wake up every day for the rest of your life and do it all over again. Wait, time travel? And again! And again, and again. And so on, so on. And again, and again, and again, and again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. I think I get the get. I get the demo. I'm tired of being this champ. Ugh. I feel like I've been dragged out of a hot soapy pot. My eyes are burning. Another dream. The same dream as usual. It's funny, even still. For a second there, I felt like I was ten years old, uh, ten years old again. But so that means you're twenty-five, right? Like the last fifteen years never happened, and I was back to square one. Things are were so simple, or ba simple back then. Am I? Uh, if only, am I? Uh, if only, am uh, am I right? It's my S gear rating. As a champion of God knows how many different battle halls and champion challenges, it's not out of the ordinary. This soon can't be good news, though. They know I'm on vacation. Professor Mandinja? Finally, there you are! I've been trying to reach you for ages! Yeah, sorry, I've been trying to catch up on sleep after fight is the fight. The trip back to Apple Grove Town really took a, a, a while, me. Oh, so you're home! Good, that's perfect! 
Perfect for what? Well, you see, I'm afraid there's a situation that requires your immediate attention. Of course there is. Oh, I see. And what should that be? It seems that a band of no-good goons is attempting a hostile takeover of the Alameda City Broadcast Tower. They seem to be wearing the emblem of... Team Gold! Again? Ah. Uh, no. <laughs> they don't learn their lesson. <laughs> okay. Get okay, army of legendaries and there we're good to go. Team Gold. The first criminal outlet that I ever crossed paths with as a trainer. I was just a kid. I found myself in the middle of their schemes over and over again. They're basically Team Rocket. They always being banned, either in battle or by their own hubris. But they always return in about a year or so, like the most annoying <laughs> annual weeds. They always think they get, they, they'll, they'll catch up us by surprise. But at this point, we've seen them be crushed by godlike forces, get stabbed in the back by two of our teams. Get beaten up by a kid full with a um, magic cart, probably. I know it's not Pokemon, but yeah. Heck, at some point they won. Uh, they they wound up on the floor. they uh, they wound up flooding their entire base and the town around them. Of course, they're back, and of course they're gonna. They're close enough to be my problem. So last time I chat, cold, uh, Team uh, Gold, the uh, Gold, Ancho got sucked into a time vortex. This is, uh, um, Team Rocket <laughs> in a volcano, which they ceased to exist because it was made of a eight of ancient memories. How are they still organized enough to take over a broadcast hour? I don't know, but they're terrorizing innocent people and stealing their snag rings. You're the closest person the League can send to stop them. There's not a moment to lose. We need you. What about the pull? Please click. All right. Guess I think it. Uh, I got time for this. I'm on vacation. I got buckets of time. I'm exhausted, practically in my pajamas, and I s only have one snagmon with me. I'll just drop by and stop in a cast of a drop of goal level criminal endeavor all by myself, just like every other time. I've been summoned to stop some emergency or save some bystander every time it happened once since I was 10 years old. All right, uh, uh, Rick. He knows the drill. Aww. Kendrick, it's adorable. Rise and shine, buddy. We got a broadcast tower to save. Yeah, I know, we're on vacation. Poor little guy. Can't help but feel bad. He seems annoying with me. Kendrick's still exhausted from our last so-called adventure yesterday. I can't suffice, but somehow Kendrick has even less say in our lives than I do. It's probably even worse for him. I know I promised to take a break, but the world needs us again. Ah, Let's take make a deal, okay? One last tussle with Team Gold, uh, Gold wannabes. And then I swear we'll, I'll throw my phone in the far and lake from my deal. Aww. Attaboy. Now, come on, let's go dig my bike out of the garage. Bad idea, bad idea. I haven't ridden my bike in so long. Ugh, my legs are on fire! You wobble along with their in rocket, a rocket, and tray are. A carrot in my basket. They weren't a long time ago. Now it's easier and cheaper just to have them zip all the small snag mods that pop up along the way and stun them instead of buying repellent sprays. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're almost there, buddy. I promise. 
Don't use anything. Uh, don't use anything you got though. Don't use everything like you got though. It's just us today. Of course, I left all my other uh, snagmon at the lake. Customs won't allow snagmons with power levels of LP over 500 into the intermittent original fights. They all got to be stored and shipped separately. Eric was a exception. I think he's so high at this point that he breaks the systems and can't actually get the uh, get read on him. I won't tell him that though. Wow. Adaron City, the Golden Apple, pride of Oana Oana region. It hasn't ch I ha it hasn't changed a bit. I haven't been here since I was 17. I think I've had a bow with Bram about two blocks from here. Bram and I used to have been rivals since day one. My friends since and friends since way before that. Wherever I go, he always been one step behind me. Or at least he used to be. He split off a while ago. Said he's going to find himself. The last I heard, he came home when the tabloids pressured him about being in my shadow. Got too much. Uh, got to be too much. It felt bad to see him go. I always had to stop by the lab when I'm done with the, this little errand. Hopefully he'll be happy to see me. But then again, I can see he won't want want to. I can see why he won't want to. He got the professor. Maybe the only person in his life who never abandoned him. Including myself. I never wanted to go. I couldn't stop him. I couldn't go with him, either. It's not like I had a choice. I am the Snagamon Master, right? However, there's a new trophy to be won, or a new, new mystical Snagamon to investigate, or a new band of troublemakers on a crime spree. They always call me. And they've been- it's been- it's been this way. Every day. For 15 years. 10 years. <clears throat> Maybe it's just a little ridiculous, huh? All I want was to have a normal snag one journey. Make a few friends. Have a little adventure. Earn a couple badges. Or ribbons or whatever. I still want to do- Whatever I want to do, and maybe a little more. Dream big, follow the road, see where life took me. I never wanted to be a hero. Here I am, rolling out my bed mere hours after I fell into it on another mission or side quest to Kakamin Wild Goose Chase. Doesn't matter that way it is. I always, it's always bow me, or stop them, or save the universe. Ram used to be so envious for me so long, for so long. And after all, this time, I came to heavy him. What do I get? When do I get a break? When do I get to my uh, get to make my decisions for once in my life? Okay, rant over. Get Herux to zero. The uh, heroes. The zero. Yeah, I got Herex to Herize. I got to the bro I got to the broadcast tower. Yep, still a tower. Used to be a, ra a radio tower, but they there was this big lawsuit. Turns out, I guess it's just you can't just have a radio tower here, so they got to have a broadcast tower instead. Huh? Oh, this is our grunt that we could date. <laughs> hey, you! Stop right there! No one's allowed in the tower, by order of Team Gold! Sounds familiar. Oh, it really is Team Gold. Man, seeing that uniform t really takes me back. Either their employed, uh, appointment polls must be drying up. Being in their prime, they had young and Hungry kids doing this stuff. Now it looks like either those same kids grew up or they picked some temp agencies.
<clears throat> what should I say? Like, okay, I'll leave. Are you a little old? <laughs> Are you a little old to be wasting your life with a team, a team of nobodies? I'll have you know I'm only 26. Everyone else screws with me just because I'm the newbie, but I'm not going to take it from some bystander. It sounds like uh, um, Taylor from, um, from, um, the mansion of, of uh, the, um, a groom of Gagger Mansion. <laughs> There's no game through to this guy. Glad to see quality, the quality remains consistent at least. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. I've seen you somewhere before. I heard your voice too before. I have to look that up. Who oh, is Taylor? This is his, vo uh, his voice actor. Probably, I've been in a lot of places, seen a lot of faces, kicked a lot of butts. Oh no. And we also had a ghost adventure. It's you! It's really you! Yep. You're the one that took down Darius all those years ago! <clears throat> yep. Yeah. And if you're lucky, it won't take you down. Now get out of my way. No way! I know who you are, but that doesn't mean I'm just going to go down without a fight. Are you sure about that? Duh. If I let you go, I'd get fired anyways, and in this economy, I really don't take that option. If it were really as simple as just running away, trust me, we don't get paid enough to battle god-taming champions. Okay, I mean, if you're... it's your funeral, right? Let's go, uh, Karek. Karek sims about stance. I prepare for the first of many one-hit KOs. But then I note that this guy... Actually chuckling? What? <laughs> this is perfect! This is exactly what I've been waiting for! You're not going anywhere! I've been spat on by the rest of Team Gold for too long, but now I'm going to show them what I can really do by beating the so-called Snagamon Master for them in Darius's honor. Okay, um, Daryl, Taylor, good luck with that. Well, he's got ambition. I'll give him that. Listen to me, or whoever, whoever, whatever your name is. Garrett, Garrett of Team Gold. Let's go say this. Or <laughs> Sir Garrett, you don't want to do this. I've been more grunts than I eat for me hot meals. Seriously, save yourself the humiliation and just walk away. Oh yeah? Far as I can see, you've only got one snag ring on you. One on one. Snag him on be snag him on. Come on! Paparacha! Aww, it's cute. Paparacha. It's ice type snagmon. Ice types fall under the rogue sign, which are stronger than the legendary sag snagmon, like carrot. But with the power level as high as carrot type match, doesn't mean crap. Shame, it's almost could have been a challenge. What's wrong, champion? Scares you'll be beaten by a grunt? All right, so I proceed to kick this guy's butt. Take him down and peg. Get right. Star Shatter. I just walk, walk in with a Pikachu. And a Pikachu. Paparacha! It didn't stand a chance! You really are a champion! Told ya. Screw around and find out, Garrett. You're gonna run back to mommy now. No! No, I'm not letting an opportunity like this slip through my fingers! You're coming with me, one way or another! Uh... What? You in what army? Found any more Snagamon. He's pretty 
easy to talk uh, walk past. Got half of an hour until I beat your current boss and cops get here. I'll get out of here while I still could if I were you. You're forgetting something. I'm a criminal, right? I don't play by your fancy schmancy good guy rules! <laughs> I thought you were gonna play with the Pokemon rules and not try and knock me out. He knocked me out! Nice going, but uh, oh, Taylor. <laughs> you want one step out of. <laughs> oh, Peter didn't do that. Okay, technically. But not the first day you met him. Uh, what, 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 where am I? My head feels as hollow as a puffed up bone. I think I almost like walking up from. I think I, I must be walk, walk, waking up from something. I can't remember taking a nap. Wherever I am, it's dark. There's boxes, clean products everywhere. But also, microphones and pa panels of dials and buns. Is this a radio booth? Oh, oh, oh my head. <clears throat> that jerk, he must have... Wait, it's coming back to me. Yeah, he knocked me out. I can still hear the echoes of the dull bat clunk of the metal bat. The wooden bat playing with my skull. Not too hard, thankfully. But when they did start arming grunts with bats, that's not how it works. They beat them fair and square and they hand me a fistful of cash and step aside. Otherwise, that's just cheating. Oh, he... <clears throat> You decide to go step eat more evil. Which makes sense for a bad guy, I suppose. My hands, I can't move my hands. Does that jerk tie me up? And if I don't get what I want, I'll smuggle them back out of here. You'll never get a chance like this again. What he's doing what is he doing? Who is he talking to? That's right. Executive rank. With a snazzy white uniform, a car, and a whole team of kick-ass snagamon. And I want all the other grunts that have been picking on me for weeks to be under my direct command. We'll see how they like getting spat on for a change. Oh heck, he's holding me hostage against his own team. Uh, when I thought I saw it saying everything. Well, if you're not gonna listen to me, I'm not telling you where we are. I'll be right here when you decide to play ball. I think, um, I think not a good plan. Let me beat them up. Yeah. <sighs> it's okay, Garrett. Keep cool. They'll buckle eventually. You're, you're not very bright. Oh yeah, for sure. Cause if there's one thing called the team Goldie is known for, it's being reasonable and open. The to no vacations. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, for sure. Cause that's what one thing Col Team Gold's known for. It's being reasonable and up for no vacation. Huh? You're awake? Well, good luck getting out of those ropes. You're completely powerless. Jerk, you hit me over the head after I beat you. That's totally against the rules of the whole society- uh, of our whole society. I mean, I am a criminal. What did you expect? You know, follow up and um, do like a rare curl from like a Pokemon game? Fair. Untie me right now. I'm gonna... Wait. Kakarot, I can't find my snaggering. Got Kakarot. Uh, 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 Looking for something? Did you really think I'd leave your snag ring on your wrist while I was holding you hostage? Don't worry about your snagamon. I'm not a monster. It's just on the desk over there, safely away from you. You good for no- uh, you're no good too, time fog. When I get out of this, I'm going to- Save your energy. Heck, get comfy. Nothing left to do but sit and wait for the boys upstairs to come to their senses. Let's take over the tower and then leave us in the in the this 
supply closet. That's right! I've hijacked this hijacking! No, no, you really did. It's the perfect plan! With all eyes on the TV station hostage situation, they're really gonna be pressed for time. Tick tock, tick tock! Did <coughs> <laughs> you call the news reporters and not your boss? Because they'll be more entertained for that. This. If you could call your boss, yeah. This guy pr pretty gutsy. Or dumb. <coughs> But he's not wrong. In fact, he might be the most competent grunt I have ever come across in a long time. <laughs> really? <laughs> they just talk his boss, though. Probably won't be long until they get back to him. I gotta get out of here. But how? I can't do anything with my hands tied up like this. I can't even use my snaggerine if I can't reach it. The ropes are pretty clunky. And if they were a little looser, then it would be easy to snip, uh, snipe, slip out. I gotta get him to- I gotta get him to let his guard down. Maybe he'll loosen it, hit my lobes, and I could break free it for, from him for it. But how? A fort with him? <laughs> well, um... Might as well. It was a Dane simulator, after all. Dane Sim, the Toma game. It's a Dane, it, it's fork. It's a long shot, but not a deal. Probably a bit degrading too. But maybe if I can manage to turn him on the charm enough, I can appeal to his more desperate side. Well, they're kind of desperate. I never had it to fork my layout of a situation before, so it'll be something new, at least. Jeez, I really hope this is not it, it. This doesn't get out. It is already so embarrassing as it is. Yeah, I can imagine. But what's embarrassing for you is incredibly fortuitous for me. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if this makes me bigger than Darius himself. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. Huh? I mean, uh, never mind. It's silly. What is it? You can't just do that. That only makes me want to know even more! That's so embarrassing. All the more reason to get it out of you, then. Defeat and humiliation go hand in hand, after all. That would be extra bad of me to do. To you. Yes. <clears throat> so, uh, make with the words and spill. I think of a deep breath. And actually, it's a really deep breath. It's a sincere deep breath. I'm just... I've never been held hostage by someone this handsome before. <laughs> uh, I... W what? You, uh... Y you think I'm handsome? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not supposed to, but I'm s it, it's so hard to resist in that roguish bad boy with a dark, troubled backstory kind of way. You know, like all those movies where the mild-mannered, innocent kid winds up with a coal owner on a motorcycle or more bike. It's really so embarrassing. I never told anyone something like this before. <clears throat> uh, uh, I, I can ride a bike. Not a motorbike, but I got a free bike with a voucher once. <laughs> so did most uh, most 10 year olds in the Pokemon universe. That I stole? Exactly my point. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I did that. Wow. Uh, I guess I am pretty awesome. I can totally see the appeal. <laughs> Feel me now? <laughs> of course, this makes it pretty awkward for me. 
because I'm holding you hostage. I'm not sure if that counts as Stockholm Syndrome, or maybe a workplace relationship. I don't work for uh, work for your team, though. Would you say that the bad boy charm was present before or after I took you as a hostage? Definitely before. Oh! <laughs> so, that whole time you were being an annoying pest, you were actually probably coming to grips with a sudden rush of overwhelming feelings. <laughs> God, that's really embarrassing for you. Totally. Uh, gag me with a spoon. Uh-huh. But that said, technically you'd still have a big fat crush on me even if I didn't take you hostage. I never said I had a big fat crush. So... <laughs> I guess that makes it okay. Look, line and sinker. I got him now. Time to reel him in. You know, if you already just, uh, if you're already just, if it's already just you and me here, alone, maybe there's a bit, a bit of time we can mess around. Hmm. I, uh, I don't know. Is that really such a good idea? <clears throat> you are a hostage, and uh, I kind of need you to keep being a hostage. Well, could you always keep- you could always keep me tied up. Maybe you could just loosen the ropes a wee bit to make them a little more comfy. Of course, I fully understand if you can't. After all, you are about to become a big, elite criminal mastermind. <clears throat> It will be way too scandalous for me to, if anything were to happen. In fact, you'll be keeping me on the straight and narrow not to. You're right. And that would be an awful shame, wouldn't it? He gets hungry look on his face. What kind of bad boy would that make me to help you keep a squeaky clean reputation? <clears throat> Super effective. That's it. A little closer. Come here, Easy, easy does girl. it. The rabbiton comes out of his hole, back around the bend. <laughs> and right between your lungs. Huh? Huh? Ooh! I can't believe you fell for that. <clears throat> now to get catch rat. Hey! You tricked <clears throat> me! That's not fair! Only one of us is allowed to break the rules. So only one of us is allowed to break the rules. Hey, I'm a criminal. What's your excuse? The criminal, the criminal held me hostage. <clears throat> and took my Pokemon, my <clears throat> Snagamon, away from me. The law is fair, uh, fair and love, love and war. Let's go catch a rat. <laughs> Let's go teach this guy a lesson and get out of here, catch a rat. <clears throat> Star. Wait, please, don't leave me alone with them. What? <coughs> Why should I help you? You're the bad guy, remember? You don't understand. Team Gold barely tolerate me as an incompetent grunt, let alone a traitor. <clears throat> if they find out I was the one holding you for ransom, they'll skewer me and roast me alive. <clears throat> and that's my problem. How? You've already wiped out my paparazzi. I won't be able to defend myself. I'm toast. Well, sorry to tell you this, but that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm not in the business of helping bad guys with their problems. Hang on. You need me. You won't get out of here without me. I out this guy right here. <clears throat> Why not? It's not like every door is locked. Well. Oh, for. No. You're kidding me. Are you kidding me? 
You're locked. We are locked in. Why didn't you? What did you do? What was the key under the door or something? No way! I'm not an idiot. The door locks automatically when you close it. Which, in hindsight, is probably why someone propped it open with a coffee cup. <coughs> <coughs> this guy's so lucky he's got a cute face. Wait, how was it going? Please, we can think of something. We can find a way out of here. We'll work together, right? Work together with a grunt. <sighs> I don't know if I can. I'm gonna laugh or vomit, but either way, I gotta do the right. Uh, do it right in his face. He got us into this mess. You're gonna get us out. <clears throat> get direct. Get ready to fight. It's cause these idiots. St this idiot stranded us against the whole army. We've got time. Nobody else came this way before I did. They have no idea the radio booth exists. Well, duh. Radio's dead. <laughs> Me wearing Alistair's shirt. I uh, don't want to tell him that. Well, duh. Radio's dead. But I'm still not working together with Team Gold... Uh, a Team Gold Grunt. Well, lucky you. My lunch hour just started, so for the next uh, 56 minutes, you can consider me off the clock. <laughs> This jerkwad gets a whole ass, go a whole lunch hour. Oh, speaking of, don't mind me. We can keep thinking of escape stuff while I eat. How much food did he have? I haven't eaten since last night's battle. My crap, I'm so hungry. Maybe if this guy pulled that food out sooner, I wouldn't have jabbed him in the ribs so hard. Well, maybe I would would have let him take me hostage. We don't want to lie. Hmm? Hey, I'm not a monster. I'll share it with you two. But only if you ask nicely. Nicely? You, no good skull bashing launch eating son of a- Alright, alright. No need to go overboard. You could have just said please, you know. Here, plenty of tomato in there to match your cheeks. I'm allergic to tomato. I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna kill him, and I'm gonna make it hurt. And some for you, little guy. He always does this. This is good. Did Mom make it for you? Hey, I'm 26 years old. I'm a grown man who can get his own lunches. And for your information, this is from the Team Gold HQ Commissary. Commissary? You get a whole lunch hour and a commissary. Well, yeah. My co-workers suck, but my job's pretty great. Still people snag them on. Actually, that's not my beat. They kinda pulled me off those missions. A few <clears throat> discrepancies in the collected cargo. You gave those po uh, these you gave these people's po you gave those po people their snag on back. Officially speaking, they fell off the truck. I just forgot to lock it is all. Okay, but you still a team gold in team gold. It's not gonna like you're a bag boy at Snagamar. <laughs> Don't you think I'd rather do that? Nowhere else would hire me, just because I have a couple of spots on my record. I mean, seriously, who calls the police over a broken window and some stolen food? Who does that? When it came down to it, Team Gold took me when no one else would. It might not be the Snagamon journey they teach in schools, but it's a journey all the same. Just don't tell anyone. I already get made fun of enough. I know you'd rather everyone did it your way, but we can't all be celebrities and champions. Hey, my wife's not exactly a cake block eater. Looks a heck of a lot more cakey than mine on TV every week. 
Yeah, every single week. Usually more than that. Stopping some crisis or earning some trophy. Running errands for the league. But they get. Uh, but then I get a call that some clowns and team gold and uniforms are storming in the broadcast tower. And the league wants me to deal with them. With it. Because I'm the closest person to it. At least you got called. I was stuck on door duty because the others didn't want to deal with me. Do you even know what it's like to be an outcast? Let alone an outcast among outcasts? He picks at the bread, corners the sandwich, triangle. Also, he's, sore, he's always sore on the subject. None of this was ever meant to be personal. I'm just looking for a little respect, you know? If I had it in me to be someone like you, I wouldn't be slinging Snagamon for a living just to make rent and get dental. There's something deep and sober about this tone. In fact, I dare I say surprising, mature, and more fit for his age. How do you start doing that kind of stuff? Huh? How do you get into the whole criminal thing? Let me guess. You started training when you were ten, right? Just like everybody else? I'm not gonna claim to know everything about you, because I don't. But when I was ten... Running off and having adventures wasn't an option for me. I didn't have a choice. There were things that needed doing. And then there were things I didn't know how to do. I learned how to bust a lock before I learned how to ride a bike. And that's just how it is sometimes. Oh, so he had uh, his upbringing. I'm smart. Don't underestimate me just because of my rank. And I got my license. I put in the time and the work. But you good guys, you don't like people like me. When you put me next to the bigger bad guys, I don't look like much. But on my own, on the street, you'd avoid me if you saw me. At least here, I get to be a little normal. Don't feel bad for me either, I don't want that. And I shouldn't have told you any of this. And I still got you in the end, didn't I? Yeah, baseball bat. I'm the only grunt to ever really beat you long enough to take you hostage. And I didn't even need to know how to tie a knot to have you stay put. It sucks I'll never get to tell anybody, probably. But that'll be our little secret, won't it? That's a nervous guy. I bet you'll be thinking about this for a while. Imagine having to take this to your grave. Super embarrassing. <laughs> it's not like that. Oh, really? Then why are you all red in the face again? I'm only saying I bet I've made a real impression on you. Yeah, totally. Today will forever be etched into your mind Taylor. as the day you, the champion, lost a little old me. Yeah, but not in a snagamon bell. By baseball bat to the head. No way. He's way too excited about this. You're for, you won for a little bit by cheating, I might add. That's all the credit I give you. And then, I still got your back. You're a good actor, yeah. But it's also okay to just admit that you might not actually be the strongest trainer in the world. And that I, a lowly Team Gold grunt, managed to defeat you. Yeah, bye bye baseball bat to the head. Wait. Does that make me the strongest trainer in the world now? No. You cheated. Hey, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> you should say that to some... Uh, some <laughs> oh, how far the, the mighty one. have fallen. Fallen victim to my superior strength and overwhelming charm, that is. <laughs> I chew for the lack of... I chew through wackies and henchmen like they're for, like you for breakfast. You've been on me an awful long time, though. He locked us in this room. You didn't leave, though. But now that I think about it, you're actually on your own here. Is that not a little weird? You're a champion, and you're chasing down people like me. That's not even fair when you think about it. Eh, it's a living. Barely living. You'd think someone like you would be doing more important things. Or nothing at all. Doesn't this job make you rich? Well, 
You don't even have backup! I get that hypothetically you probably don't need it, but what if I wasn't the only grunt who thought to bring a baseball bat? Or worse. Or worse! You'd be in a lot more trouble then. Guess I'm not the only one with teammate issues. <laughs> oh yeah, because whatever you're doing here is so important. I bet they all need all need to focus while you while they rob you blind. People blind. That's not what we're doing here. Then by all means, give me the straight. What's Col Team Go uh, Gold's mission here? You really want to know? Team Gold's here to... Oh no. No, 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 no! Whoever it is, answer it. They think you're waiting for... Uh, you're waiting for them. You don't understand! It's... Huh. <sighs> Hello? My executives tell me you have something I want. That voice. I know that voice. It, it's it's Darius. I'm calling to arrange its delivery. <laughs> well, then, then let's negotiate. Butthole. I didn't say I wanted to negotiate. I said I wanted to arrange the trainer's delivery. You see, I might not know who you are, but I know you're in the building. Sooner or later, I will find you. I'll know who you are. And I'll know just how to punish you for daring to interfere with my return. His return? That's what they wanted to broadcast the tower? They're trying to revive Col Team Gold live on the air. Of course. The leak is already on their way, so my plans are effectively ruined. But I'd sooner go back to prison than leave here empty-handed. So, Grunt, tell me where you're keeping the trainer within the next ten minutes. And I may be inclined to grant you lenience in your punishment. How's that for negotiation? He'll kill me, you know. If he finds me, and you're not here, he will kill me. And that so-called lenience? He'll do it himself, instead of letting his Snagamon eat me alive! D uh, damn, I can't let this guy die just because he's stupid and wants a little respect. Okay, let's get out of here. Together. Thank you. I guess you really are the hero they say you are. Don't get fresh with me. Just help me figure that a way out. Huh? What's the smell? Hey, do you smell cinnamon buns or is it just me? There's a vent. It smell must be coming from the car, uh, car outside. All right, but first we've got to get the grate off. Don't worry, can I grab use magnetism? <laughs> Whoa, that's one tough snagamon. Stop gawking, give me a boost. Come on, Kakarat. Time, uh, back in your ring. Easy, easy, easy! <sighs> okay, now pull me up. Mm, I don't know. Ha ha, come on, before Darius finds us! Ah, oh, jeez, I left my lunch behind. Oh, <clears throat> what a shame. I'm gonna have to explain to the league where I was the whole time and they had to send in people who actually are on payroll to deal with you and your friends. You're not even getting paid for this? I get paid in battle winnings. Yeesh! What a ripoff. Hey, you won't tell anyone about that stuff I said before, will you? About where I came from? No. Why would I even t who would I even tell? Thanks. The office politics at Team Gold are surprisingly volatile. No, you won't- you don't say. So you're seriously gonna go back to 
them after this. Yeah. They don't know it was me. Darius doesn't even know my name. If I can get out and sneak back to my post, they'll never even realize I was gone. That's easy. Uh, that easy, huh? Yeah. Guess it pays to be invisible sometimes. No kidding. This whole time, I've been waiting for a break. Time to just be invisible. And this guy is basically listing it as a benefit in his contract. Hey, what you were saying back there. It wasn't all a lie, was it? Not that I really care or anything. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. What, that you were handsome? Yeah. I don't really have the heart to tell him it was his plan's leg, for the most part. I know it's Jen, see, it generally seems to get him aside, in a matter of speaking. It's also something I strangely don't want to acknowledge. I never had to stoop so low. Probably look, it looks so ridiculous. I am glad this finally... This will probably die between the two of us. Well, I don't think I was lying. Would you, um... Would you have... Kiss me if I actually let you? I get desperate times can call for desperate measures, but don't yank a guy's chain like that. You don't know me, and you don't know how something like that makes someone like me feel. <clears throat> Even by my standards, that's mean, wouldn't you say? Now it's my turn to go beat Red. It's just him, or me, or did it, did it just get a little bit warmer in here? No, I'm sorry, I, I... <laughs> Ah, it's not so fun when the tables are turned, is it? You should hear yourself. You sound ridiculous. Gah, <clears throat> that jerk. Don't go falling for me now, champion. Not before we get out of here, uh, these vents. At least, I'm counting on you to get us out of here. <laughs> Although, you're free to fawn over me in my handsome face after. Uh, as if... <clears throat> Ooh, fork in the road. The left should be lead to the side alley. That's your best bet of getting back to the door. You should go that way. Wait, where are you going? Where does the right way go? I think it goes back to the ad room. At least I could pretend I wasn't stuck in the booth with you all day. I still have time to t take out a few grunts. Before the league shows up. Wait, you could go left with me. You've had a bad enough day as is. The league doesn't have to know. No can do. I can't run away from a fight. All part of the of the whole hero thing comes with a job. Yeah, she looks disappointed. Well, <clears throat> here, take my card. In case you ever want a break from running errands for the league. You want me to join at Team Gold? After everything we said? Hey, the work sucks, but the job's great. And maybe it wouldn't hurt to have more good people among the bad guys. P plus, I get a cut of your profits as a recruit, under our recruitment structure. <laughs> so, so, MML? MLM? Oh, gross. So, asking you to join is actually completely selfish if you really... just... Think about it. Get out of here, Grant. <clears throat> get out of here, Garrett. And don't get cocky about today. Next time I see you. <laughs> I know, I know. Just go easy on me next time, okay? If I see a holy and bat, I'm gonna grind you into a pulp. <laughs> Fair enough. Smell you later, champion. <laughs> He's so, so, so lucky. He's so, he got a cute face. Dude, home at last. <clears throat> That's a, right. Kick her out. <clears throat> Our month off the grind starts, the, the grid starts now.
Just one last thing. Hello? Are you okay? I'm fine, Bram. Just shaken up. About Darius is all. Yes, I, I saw the news. He got away in the end, didn't he? Yeah, I got sidetracked. Inside the tower. This one grunt really held me up for a b bit. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I should have been there. I, I should have had your back. He... He was cute. A bit. I suppose. I excuse me? <laughs> I'm sorry. My S gear must be acting up. Did you just say the Team Gold grunt was... Cute? You thought he was cute? <clears throat> a little. You know he's a criminal, right? He didn't make a move on you, did he? Is that why you got held up? I shriek a little. Brown's, uh, Brown's sounds upset. He's always been looking out for me, even as a rival. He always hovered around and over me like that. He used to be way meaner and brighter about it, but he's been a consistent. He's only been... Uh, now been softened, softened within the years. With the years, hearing him swearing makes me generally feel bad. Rax Brown, it was just a distraction. He had a bit of an adventure for a while. That's putting it delicately. But nothing happened. I promise. <sighs> All right, good. That seems to calm him down a bit. You've never called anyone cute before. Was there something about him that you're into? Not particularly. I don't think so. So, what was it? Why would you call him cute? He just was, that's all. Best not to get into the, all the details and far more gorgeous way to put what happened. For both parties. Though, I did give pause when I realized the one, first thing I had to say about him was that he was cute. Do me a favor. I know I have no right to tell you what to do or who to be, but don't go falling for guys like that. I'd really hate to see you get hurt by some lowlife, and those guys are the biggest lowlives around. You belong with someone who would treat you nicely. Yeah, like who? Well, someone on the right side of the law, for starters. Son, if you could find me someone like that, sure. Listen, I know you're taking a break and all, but if you're home and I'm home, do you think maybe we could do something tomorrow? Together? Ah, uh, probably. I guess we could. If you're busy, don't even worry about it. It's, it's nothing important, really. I love to. Really? Really. It just takes everything in me not to say... That would make me so, so happy. I feel so bad about how he left, and I felt like it's all been my fault. I don't want to overwhelm him, but I'm glad that we're actually on decent enough terms that he could even ask me out and hang out. Uh, uh, okay then. Shall we meet up at the concert hall in Lidelia City? The really, really expensive one? The exclusive one? Yes, that's it. The, it, it Think we can get in? You are a champion. I'm sure they can make room. <laughs> but that's so fancy. Do I have to dress up at all, or...? No, it's fine. Come as you are. Honestly, it'd just be really good to see you again. Actually, since I got back, I've been thinking about how we left things before. I have something I want to talk to you about. Just us. Somewhere nice. Are you okay? Sounds serious, are you okay? Of course. I, I know we didn't exactly leave on the best of terms, but that had absolutely nothing to do with you. I just needed to take some time to figure out what I really wanted. It's really important to me that you come. We'll stop by the Lidelia Scoop Shop first, get some of that gelato you like. Oh, playing... Out all the stops, huh? Only the best for an old friend. I'll be there. Fantastic. 
Uh, I'll see you around three. You rest up right now, though. You've been through a lot. N no sleeping in or showing up late, all right? Cross my heart. <laughs> Good night. Click. And with that, it's just me and Kakarat. Well, he's already comatose, but still. I'm glad he's not all mad at me. It's eas easily could have been gone wrong. It's gone so wrong. It's been weird. Without him by my side, when Bram was went home, I felt like my last pillar of strength went with him. I could really use the, the little Normandy. Whatever he and I can find. But then again, hmm. The bad guy's business card. I'll be better not to let Bram see this. He'll get all kinds of worried. Today wasn't supposed to, to mean anything anyways. But part of me really hopes that Garrett and I could uh, will cross paths again one day. In fact, I might actually miss him. Oh wow. What the heck? It's... Ballist? It must be a crunchy job if all, uh, if they give a grunt cards this nice. Yeah. <sighs> Why do I feel so all twisted and not? I feel pulled in two different directions, and I can't even. I don't even know why. This all used to be so simple, but I don't know anymore. Now to admit, I'm all envious of Grant during uh, after today. Sure, Team Gold are a bunch of hardened criminals, but when all the when was the last time any of them so-called good guys were around me went up, even thought about my health? This guy gets me a lot, uh, gets a lunch break in the middle of a double hi uh, double hijacking. Well, I get called in on my own vacation to do unpaid vigilant vigilant day work. And then the league takes all the credit. Not to mention that this life draws a wedge between Bram and me. And then, then I'm not very happy, even happy. That I give up my best friend for a life that leaves me tired and unfilled, with the world taking advantage of me every chance I get it gets. All I want ever all I want was one Snagamon journey. Adventure excitement. But now everything's been been done. There's nothing else to do but slip Rukeli into the mundane and just let things happen and happen with them. Then again, all is messed up as is. I think I could actually enjoy spending time with the grunt, that grunt. If things were different, I might add, really like him. I mean, it didn't help that he wasn't the same brand of diamond a dozen morally corrupt creep that team gold usually falls in at me he was just actually oh a generally handsome man maybe i'll focus too much on that oh, just one kind of adventure maybe it's time to spread my wings it was a little thrilling to not be the one in the control for once being so vulnerable and open to the situation Rolling with the punches, not being able to throw the obstacles away with one move. Good night, Kikaret. Who knows, maybe there are brand new ventures for us out there, after all. Meanwhile. Did you hear about Team Gold? What a train wreck! Ugh, hijacking a broadcast hour? That's so conformist. <coughs> Sorry, I just rocked up to end up in the wrong tube. Look at there. With a white collar poser like Darius at the wheel. Is it any surprise? 
At least they got their honcho back. We're still on our own. Just for now. So long as no one misses their mark tonight. <laughs> you sure you can handle this, hotshot? <laughs> Don't worry about me. I was born for the spotlight. Isn't that what you said last time? Before you crashed and burned with the rest of us? <coughs> Would you move on already? This will be different. You'll see. <laughs> oh god. He's got that look on his face again. Whatever you've got planned, leave me the hell out of it. Yeah, don't drag us down with you again, Norman. I told you, my name is... Hey, you four, focus. This ain't a rehearsal anymore. We're Team Glamere! Show a little dignity for fucks. Only a few more hours till showtime. Our star is waiting for us. And you, Grunt, stick to the script this time. I'll stick to the script, all right. But not yours. Soon you'll see who the real star is around here. <clears throat> and my name is King. <clears throat> okay, I do want this. Uh, I know they're just gonna do like a book on this. Probably, but <clears throat> I want them to continue the game. That was Snagmon and Grunt Dane, so. If you like my contact, please subscribe, like the video, help out, and comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.